Hello everyone, I am Kumar Saurav and welcome to Practical Computer Networks 101. Well, after many days I am making video, video tutorials again. I was busy in some work, I moved to a new place, anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, this new series is uh, is more arranged than the previous previous one. The previous one was on mainly on the previous was mainly on uh, uh, backtrack and network hacking etc etc. This one is on computer networks from a hacker's perspective. Well, why practical computer networks? Why not just computer networks one one? I would say I'll be demonstrating how how you how you can connect. Uh, uh, computers um, via Ethernet, how you can configure routers, uh, how you can assign IPs dynamically, stati statically. Anyway, and uh, I will also be sh uh, and I will show you those things by by videos. Uh, I have some routers and switches and computers. Don't worry, I I'll explain that. And why from hackers' perspective? Uh, there are many books of computer of computer networks. Uh, the one I like is Andrea Stenbaum. It's a good book. Go for it. I would prefer that book. And from a hacker's pr perspective, because see, there are there is web hacking and there is network hacking. In network hacking, there are many uh, threats like uh, and many hackings like uh, MITM, DDoS. Yes, talking about DDoS it's a huge thing and it depends on networks so you must know computer networks uh, and you must have a very good knowledge in computer networks if you want to go for computer network as serious network not just tricks so what we are going to discuss first thing which we will discuss is what a computer network is of course Definitely, you must be knowing what a computer network is. There are some computers, some routers, and wires all over. Anyway, that, that's that's what a computer network is. What are the different components and elements of computer networks? What constitutes a computer network? I'll be discussing that. Then comes how a connection is established. Does it work? And terminates. Then I'll tell you how it can be used in hacking. Also how non-hackers can be benefited from this and research aspects moving on who am I you you might be thinking who the hell is this guy so I think I, I should introduce myself <laughs> okay that's me that's me and that's not funny my name is Kumar Saurav I I am a student of College of Engineering and Technology, Bhubaneswar, Odisha, India. I am in final year and my branch is Information Technology. I have a website www.ponscar.in Many Many people ask, uh, ask me why Ponscar? Uh, let me tell you, PWN, uh, hack, as hackers said, PWN, I pawned a website, I pawned a server. So in that pawn is this PWN and SCAR. Well, that's my nickname in games. I also have a research paper. I have published it in SCM Digital Library. I have presented it in Cube International IT Conference and Exhibition 2012, held in Pune, Maharashtra. Mm, well, and my Facebook ID is www.facebook.com slash kumar dot sarav twelve. Overall. I'm just another guy. <laughs> yeah, that's in my mind right now. Uh, uh, I, I think we should start the first lesson. Please, uh, hold on. What a computer network is? In my words, I would, in simply, I would say, it's a network of computers and related, related device. Only computers cannot make networks. Yes, of course they can, but that will be a, that will be a very simple network, and will be of a very little use. So computers and related devices. What are related devices? Uh, related devices are like routers, switches, bridges, servers, printers, and whatever you can think of. 
and a computer network is able to transfer data from one node to another what is a node in layman language i would say a node is anything um for example say a computer is a node a switch it's a node a router it's a node uh, it's server it's also a node and a network can perform intelligent routing it can select which path to take when a packet uh, when a packet is being transferred from a node to a different node to a different network or within a network it prefers always the best path possible best path available uh, well there is a crap creepy picture below uh, you can see this is uh, a server this is a router or switch switch this is also a router or switch these are ethernet cables and uh, these little guys here are computers so there are three maybe more maybe less computers are connected to a switch a router there are another there is another switch and more computers are connected to that switch and in turn these uh, all the switches are connected in a server that may be your isp or or anything okay you can see uh, here is server this this is a router these are computers and this is a printer uh, i don't know what that is that might be a scanner or whatever this is a sample computer network and uh, well, this thing here is most probably a modem because there is a connection in and connection out and these are uh, ethernet ports this is most probably a wireless antenna uh, most router and switches look like looks like this so don't worry so if we move on what are the elements of computer network uh, the elements which which we deal mostly are computers of course switches routers hubs bridges well hubs and bridges are old age we don't use them anymore anyway then comes ethernet cable then servers of course server may Many types of servers are there. Load balancer. Uh, this is uh, in, this is used in load balancing concept, etc., etc. Et and of course, power supply. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, I don't want to bore you with uh, any more details today because this is this is just introduction. This video is just for introduction. Mm. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for viewing. Thank you. Bye bye.